What's up guys? Upcycle the past here. On today's episode we are going to restore the Mark 1's radiator. Which is pretty cool because it's an aluminum uh, uh, aluminium uh, radiator which is awesome because I hate the plastic replacement ones. And um, it should be interesting. If you're interested don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and stay tuned for more. First of all, let's see if the fan works. Because if it doesn't, uh, we need to get a new one. And let's... Uh, we should hear also the state of the bearings. Well, that sounds amazing. Okay, so let's remove the hose clamps. We will not use these ones. We will keep them for reference, but we will not use these ones. noise voila Pretty rusty, but I think it can be saved. Looks pretty dope. Noise. And the radiator is in a pretty good shape. The plan is to uh, clean it and I'm thinking about making, uh, I'm thinking about uh, taking off the black paint of it and polishing the aluminium but it would look really nice that this one to be polished aluminium and the shroud to be painted a glossy black a little bit of rust le ser dub 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 and let's see if these suckers will budge or not ah, they did So let's try to take out these little flappy flaps. Flappy flap. So I will not be using a wire brush today and I will I don't have time to go to David again to sandblast it in a sandblasting cabinet. So I will go with my all-time favorite supermarket tool, Parkside Sandblaster, which is basically just a simple pistol and you put the you put the sand in here and you go tus tus on the parts and I will show you that it's not hoax because I tried it already here and it kind of works so let's see wish me luck
the sandblasted shroud. Looks really cool. Look at that bad boy. So the plan is, I will not use the original fan, although it's good, but um, aesthetically it's uh, pretty ugly and I will want to make a clean engine bay look and the fan looks really ugly. So I will cut down this mount, the mounting part for the old uh, fan and I will install a low profile universal one, a 10 inch one here so the radiator sh uh, will be only at this level because otherwise with the original fan it comes out like here and it looks pretty ugly so yeah if you're interested how it will look stay tuned guys and don't forget to subscribe Job done. Now we will file down the cuts and uh, the dents so that it will be a nice clean look and be prepared for paint. Yes! So these are the results after some after I applied the, the paint remover and sandblasting it outside. I did not sandblast this area because of obvious reason because you could damage the core. Only the sides where the welds are. Even this um, thermal switch for the fan <laughs> came out really nice because it's out of breath. So yeah, now I will use some uh, scotch pad and I will use different grade of uh, sandpaper and after that I will polish it. So let's see how it works. Great success! guys Ooh. and here you can see the difference check that out not bad for a 30 year old radiator right so here is the finished radiator check that out guys it looks freaking amazing let me show you the other side this is uh didn't come out as nice but still i'm happy and this is the top part it doesn't have to be perfect because i'm not uh, going on for a perfect build but i want i want uh some of the details to be there like this radiator you know it's a nice little extra detail in the engine bay And let me show you what I messed up with the radiator shroud. So, uh, uh, 
with the radiator shroud um, I messed up big time because uh, it was way too cold here and when I applied the second layer of paint it did not uh, etch itself to the first uh, uh, layer of paint and it dripped it dripped horribly it was it was uh, it was run it was full of runs all over so I had to wait till it dried and now I sanded it down I will still have to to uh, sand it a little bit and I will repaint it and now I'm using that heater and that heater so I hope it will be the ambient temperature will be enough for this for the paint not to to um, uh, run so yeah wish me luck <laughs> finished it mounting it so it's held in three screws it's really sturdy this is how it looks from the inside well it's freaking annoying because in the inside I didn't get any drips runs and uh, here were the really rusty parts but this paint freaking covered it really well and it shouldn't rust for many years to come so let's test it. Let's test the radiator, I mean the fan, how it works. I have my trusty, trusty, trusty uh, battery. Works like a freaking charm, guys. Nice! Great success! Okie dokie, so here is the painted shroud I once again see once again I got some runs in the paint so that means that I will repaint this in the summer because it didn't turn out really good but other than that it looks quite nice looks way better than it was way better great success okie dokie so let's install these flappy flaps okie dokie the second one Oh, perfection.
What do you guys think? Does it look nice? It looks nice. Ta-da! It's finished guys, it looks pretty damn cool. Welcome to the trophy shelf my good friend Great success guys if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like subscribe and comment on the video and See you next time take care guys